So, box is off. Comes up wrapped up pretty good. Tires held on by a little, uh, no, little push on piece. Oh, little wire straps. Nice and easy. Put everything like that, it'd be nice. And it's going to take me more than a couple hours to put together because I have kids upstairs and they're going to want and it does It does feel like the spokes are a little bit loose. So that's going to have to be adjusted like everyone's talking about online. All right, let's start unboxing and we'll give show you some more. All right, we are partially unpacked. And it's looking pretty good. No damage. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of foam and strapping on it, plastic. You will have to dismantle your framing system on the sides. Uh, I'm hoping what I can do is just bounce it off the sides. I don't have to take off the rest of it. But uh, no scratches. Uh oh. Hold on. Let me get a wipe that off a second. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw I thought I saw some paint chippage in repair, but it wasn't. But there's the vehicle number so that you can license it. Orange carburetor. And it looks like they do the checking on everything, make sure everything's complete. People tell me I should change the spark plug, but we're gonna give this one a try comes with uh, one foot peg partially assembled because they have a, a piece of metal mounted on here so that they can mount it to the frame so that's going to come off and be put on looking pretty good though for as far as we are right now <sighs> we're going to try to get it off the frame or off that uh, mounting frame and then put it up on a block or something and see about assembly. I might might take the framing off where it sits, the front, or the front is attached to this little mount up here so it doesn't flip over on you. What I might do is not assemble the front tire right away. I might lift the back up and assemble the mono shock. And after that's assembled, work on the steering, the handlebars and the, everything on top and then do the, the uh, front tire last because I am doing this by myself and it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a trick to uh, to lift this thing up and try to get that mono shock done. I do have a chain fall here I'm probably going to end up using. I'll hook it up there on the ceiling somewhere and lift the rear end high enough to, to put it in. So. Anyway, that's where we're at now. I, uh, so far, I'm happy with it. And we will go from here again. See you in a bit. <clears throat> Kickstand, paperwork, keys, all the little nuts and bolts and things that come with it. Toolkit, uh, blinkers. I've heard of people talking on these hawks that the bolts tend to come loose and you don't want them coming off on you while you're driving on the road so looking at these some of these have some lock nuts uh, that screw on and they lock on and i'm looking at the rest of the washers here and these are just plain flat washers i don't like that idea so what i'm going to do is go to the hardware take a couple of these with me and find 
some lock washers to add on to these or replace these. That way I don't have to do Loctite on everything and I know that they're not going to come loose like they would with these system here. So for now, uh, since I'm, I'm not going to the store right now to the hardware for lock washers, I'm going to assemble the handlebars and uh, maybe put on the front wheel and we'll see how that goes. All right, we'll be right back again shortly. All right, during the unpacking here, we found a gouged out um, handle grip and a broken horn button. I don't know if everything else works or not, but that's broken. So what we're going to have to do is give them a call where I ordered it from. See if they will send me a new uh, plastic horn housing. If not, that's not going to be a good situation for the company. So I will uh, give them a call. Go from there. Sucks that had to happen, but at least it's just something small. It's not uh, the functional ability of anything. So, it's uh, watching the assembly of this. This might be out of sync or out of order with what I'm doing here and how I post it. I'm not sure. I hope try to get it correct. But I got the mono shock in here. Got it lifted up, bolted on, tightened up. Uh, huh, look at that. There's a little. The compartment there. I didn't see that before. I have to get the key on that. But to get the mono shock up on my own, what I had to do was lift it and hold it up while that was being bolted in. Of course, you can't do that yourself. So I took a tie strap, a uh, toe strap for a car that was broken, strapped it around the ceiling, looped it under here, over and up, and then lifted the back of the bike up. And then tightened up the rope and it was held it up perfect for me got it bolted on good to go um, uh, well after we get it all put together we'll do a little review on everything again but under here there is a little bolt here and a little bolt over here you're gonna want to put the ignition in on the top before you put this in. This piece here is for the ignition lock cover. Uh, you cannot put that on if you put this on first because the bolts are so far up inside here that you there's no way you can get it on without putting that this piece on first and then put your ignition key in. And then put your speedometer on. This one doesn't, well, yeah in that order ignition on top ignition below speedometer on and then uh put your face shield headlight on so all right that's another quick update where we're at um and we're still going out of the crate oh, low battery turn off my flash <clears throat> Uh, still got some plastic to go, and I got to get some of those uh, lock washers yet, which I can't do till tomorrow. So I'm pretty much kind of be done tonight. Maybe put the front fender on and the front fairing. Getting that front tire on by yourself, woo! Without uh, uh, motorcycle shop equipment, that is not an easy task. And to get it out of that thing, if I would have disassembled it all, it would have been a little easier, but. Ended up putting up my chain fall, wrapping it around the front axe, front uh, steering column here, and then hoisting it up, which made it a lot easier to get that thing on. A lot easier. Kickstand on finally, so it can stand on its own. Okay. Haven't really run into any other problems other than that broken horn button. And I called them and they said, fill out a report, send it in. I got 30 days to send in a report on anything that's wrong with it. 
So what I'm doing is assembling it all. Probably by the Sunday, it'll all be up and running. Gas in it. We're going to take it outside and start it up. See how it runs. See if there's any problems with the engine or anything. And we'll go from there. But uh, as of right now, looking pretty good. All right, we are getting closer. Sorry for all the sniffling. I'm in the basement. It's kind of cold down here. I'm going to be driving it right up out this door to the outside. <laughs> Probably put uh, put this door up as a ramp and drive it out. Uh, I don't have a garage, so this is why I got to do it down here. So found a few things that I want to discuss with you guys about uh, the review on it of the assembly part. I ordered a Hawk, but I got a BSA, BSR. Uh, it's the same exact bike except for it doesn't say Hawk on the seat and the seat's a little different pattern on it. Probably can't see that here, but uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, I cannot hook up the headlight or the blinkers yet because I didn't charge the battery right off the bat. If you're going to do this, I suggest you get the battery out first thing, charge it up. Put the acid in it. I'm going to put it on the charger for the next four hours. Because with all the wiring up here, I can't tell which is the right and which is the left blinker. So i got to charge the battery, plug them in, turn the blinkers on, find out which one's which. I don't want to hook it up and then disassemble and redo it all again. But uh, I like the color. Black, a little bit of gray, red, the white. It's uh, looked a little bit smaller in height online. My I got to sit on my tiptoes to get on this thing. Uh, I'm going to check and see if I could do an, a, a, a mono shock adjustment to lower it down a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Flat tire was flat as well when I got, when I got here. Front tire was still up. Hoping there's no problem with the back tire. I inflated it. And, uh, it's been about two hours. Still still up there. So we shall see. Again, I am so far happy, happy customer. Even with the little problems that I've got. Well, the only real problem is the uh, horn button is blown out. But uh, we will address that and go from there. Uh, be back tomorrow with the battery charged and ready to roll. Uh, we'll put the front light headlight on and get some fuel. Start it up. Hopefully we have no issue with that. Uh, dog wants to be in the video. All right. Thanks for watching. Again, I probably said that a few times throughout this video, but I'm collecting them all together and hopefully doing one big video. All right. I will... Be back tomorrow with the startup.